Violence against women and girls is a concern for everyone. We all have a responsibility to prevent abuse happening to women of all ages and it's our duty to support those who are victims and survivors of violence. We know that women in domestic abuse environments have been impacted by the various lockdowns and the restrictions put in place this year. So for women who are in domestic abuse relationships, they have been living with their perpetrator 24-7 with limited contact with loved ones. We need to continue to ensure that while the pandemic is ongoing, these women know they can leave their homes and can escape the violent situation they find themselves in, regardless of the government restrictions. It has never been more important to have a collective approach to prevent violence against women. I know many groups have been set up between statutory agencies, partners and voluntary organisations to ensure that we are doing all we can to tackle abuse during the pandemic and beyond. We need to continue to let women who face or have faced violence know that support is out there. And we will continue to shout about the victim services available to women so they know there are charities, organisations and people who will not judge them, will not tell them what to do, but will help and listen. We need to continue to support such fantastic organisations and charities that are a lifeline to victims. All survivors, especially those who have experienced violence, deserve to be heard.